Major developments tonight, as a stimulus check could be coming in a continuing resolution bill that's due by December 11th. It's a bill that has to be done, it has to be signed, and it has to be ratified by the president. And if it's not, guess who doesn't get a check? <laughs> yeah, her. So basically, if she doesn't give you a check, she's not getting a check. Wow, that sounds really quite wonderful. Meantime, what about your 2400 SSI, SSDI, Social Security Railroad Benefits? Then a 20% increase. Then a lifetime step up every year. What's going to go on with that? Hazard pay, that $500 billion, that $800 billion of care, that one money that could be repurposed as a $5,000 stimulus check. Boy, and what about extension of unemployment benefits expiring in just a few weeks? Yes, that would be in the CR as well. And the viewers of this channel continue to get big grants, not $5,000, but $10,000, $20,000 in some cases. Big grants, but the big grants are going big way, are taking a big move. They're going away around December 15th, so you need to get them right now. I'll go over them in this recording. It's a big night. Thank you for joining me on my... Monday's Evenings LA Light. Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Evening Entire Light, and boy, I'm excited for you to join me. Because there's so much good news coming with a deadline in which someone else doesn't get a check if they don't give you a check. <laughs> it just, uh, it has a nice, a nice ring to it. Hashtag CR for stimulus. The hashtag launched yesterday, and it's already heating up. Take this video and share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hashtag CR for stimulus. You're going to find out what that means in a minute. But first, subscribe to this channel because no one's getting you money right now. Not five days from now, not five weeks from now, but right now. And I don't mean $100 stimulus checks from Nancy Pelosi. I mean $5,000, $10,000 rent grants, $15,000. In cities and counties in which you think may not have rent grants anymore, more. Oh yeah, they do. And they're announcing them by the minute and then some are closing by the hour. So you want to make sure you're in tune with this channel. I have developments by the minute and changes by the day. So don't miss a video. Also hit the alert button on the front of this channel so you don't miss a video when I go taped or live. I will be going live 15 minutes after this recording on Purple Power Live, so join me then. Also, like this video. It really helps in the rankings. In tonight's video, I'll be going over what's going on in this CR. It's called a Conditional Resolution Bill, a budget bill to determine the budgeting of the federal government. Suddenly, stimulus will be in the CR, says a new report. Stimulus will you be used to hold up the CR, says the report, and that stimulus will include a stimulus check and unemployment benefits. Really shocking. The question is, how much? How soon? When would be in our hands? And what are the dynamics and what can we do as the Purple Power to push the envelope to ensure that the stimulus check is bigger and bolder than just a measly check uh, to go get our hair cut at Supercuts. <laughs> Those developments and more, along with your $2,400 SSI and SSDI, coming up. And let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news, as you see here tonight, is that finally, finally, there's a deadline. And the deadline is not some loosey-goosey deadline that you can sort of ignore, like your hairdresser's appointment tomorrow. The deadline... <laughs> can't believe I just said that. The deadline is a deadline in which if you skip the deadline, the federal government shuts down because they're doing so much work anyway, so that when they shut down, you'll certainly notice when they're shut down. Well, this is actually no surprise because shutting down the federal government, shut down the post office, shut down inauguration day, it'll shut down virtually everything that America looks at during the holiday season. Yes, it's a big threat. And also the biggest threat is that the people who would not get paid include those wonderful, charming congressional members. Oh, yes. Suddenly your check could hold ransom their check. 
interesting. It is, it's, it's just so del it's so delicious. I just love it. So what does this new report say? The new report claims, and it's now been backed up by a series of other reports to repeat the, much the same thing today, that the GOP is just sort of sick of this and wants to have stimulus in your hands, but doesn't want her type of stimulus. You know who that her is. And so what they want to do is ensure you get a certain series of things because they believe you are entitled to those things. Needless to say, Chuck Grassley, Mitch McConnell, and Lindsey Graham all said in recent days they want you to have the Problem Solvers Bill. She doesn't want to give you the Problem Solvers Bill. And between you and I, the Problem Solvers Bill can't fit in what I'm about to talk about. A, high, a narrowly tailored version, a smaller version of the Problem Solvers Bill has to fit. You can't use the whole Problem Solvers Bill. So what are the deal provisions? And what is this thing? And what's going on? <laughs> and where are you? And what's your name? Uh, the bill that we're talking about is called a Continuing Resolution Bill. It's a bill that's used to fund the federal government. It's done every three months. That's why you've heard me talk about it at least twice before on this channel in recent weeks. It has to be done. And if you don't do it, the government shuts down. And the deadline this time is December 11th. Now, each time they've done the, condition, condition, uh, uh, the continuing resolution, CR, it's called CR, because the other thing is just too hard to say, especially in, during a YouTube recording. The reason why they do the CR is because they have to fund the federal government. If they don't reach an agreement on the CR, the government shuts down. It has shut down before. But ultimately, when they do the CR, they don't wait till the last day to do it. This is a big one. So even though I say December 11th, they don't wait till December 11th to do it. They do it now. Congress comes back into session in the next 24 hours. Senate came into session today. A House goes into session tomorrow. This is what they do. The bill has to start in the, one of the chambers, either House or Senate, and then go to the other one, and it goes to the president to sign. Guess what? The Senate is still controlled by the GOP, and the Senate, and the, um, obviously the presidency is still controlled by the GOP. And the article claims that the GOP wants to say, we're going to ask for our things, we're going to put our things in the Senate version of the bill, and we're not going to budge, and you're going to sign it, or we're going to shut down the government. Lord. Okay, so what are the deal items? First, a stimulus check. How big? Likely to be $1,200. The article doesn't say how much it is. Likely uh, $1,000 for dependent. The article doesn't say how big it is. Likely not taken out for child support. The article doesn't say how much. And also, um, adult dependents likely to get a full stimulus check. The article doesn't say that as well. But the article does give us a number for unemployment benefits. It says FPUC retroactive to September at 300 to 4 uh, 250 to 400 dollars a week. Now, if you do the math, that would be about $6,000 in your bank account on the low end as a one lump one time lump sum to get you caught up. That's really nice. So $6,000 plus a $1,200 stimulus check, wow, that's about $7,000, bam, right in your account. How soon can we see this? This is certainly the next, I can see you typing that question right away in the comments. How soon can we see this? Well, about 10 days thereafter, if it passes, you know, whatever day it passes, 10 days by electronic receipt in your bank account. So if it passed on December 11th, which I don't think it'll wait that long, December 21st, if you set up for paper check, then it would come about... Uh, about an extra week thereafter. All really good news. Now, what are the other items in there? Well, it basically says, hey, UI is expiring in late December under FPUC, federal FPUC. PUA is expiring in late December. FPUC expired in July and has to go on top of UI and PUA. Well, this one would give you retroactive to September, not retroactive to July. And, you know, 250 to 400 is what the article said. Another round of PPP, some um, some student loan repayment for, um, moratorium, eviction moratorium, and mortgage forbearance for moratorium. The cost of the bill reportedly, according to a new report this, this afternoon, says that the Appropriations Committee has agreed to tentatively $1.4 trillion dollars which is a really good number because a stimulus check of $1200 costs about $300 billion uh another round of pp another round of pua um it's you know 200 300 billion dollars uh, even if they're doing another round of ppp it shouldn't be more than 100 billion dollars this is an emergency bill this is an emergency bill to get you from now to january that's all the purpose of the bill is it's not a universal bill so uh what is my opinion of the situation i think if they do it if the GOP really does what this article says, I think it's absolutely brilliant it's going to happen. If they don't do it, the GOP, I still think that something's going to happen. I just don't think that you can go to 
January or February with no stimulus check and, a, and an expiration of UI and PUA. Now, some states have already stepped forward because they said, you know, we can't risk this. And so some states now, Illinois, uh, New Mexico, and Hawaii, reportedly, according to viewers, have now given additional weeks of unemployment benefits because they're saying, you know what, we can't let our citizens not have unemployment benefits on January 1st. We need to protect our citizens. So they're stepping up. The problem is that most states can't step up. And so that's why you really um, need to get behind this CR stimulus. Hashtag uh, CR for stimulus. What's important to understand is that that $800 billion of CARES Act one money that's sitting around that can be repurposed as a stimulus check, $5,000, is still there. It won't be there indefinitely. And so you want to take this video and tag Mnuchin, tag McConnell, and tag McConnell's communications director and say, make sure, Mitch, you put stimulus in the CR and include a stimulus check, include some FPUC, and why don't you repurpose CARES Act 1 money and make it even cheaper? If the bill is supposed to be 1.4, then make it even cheaper, because this is $800 billion. This will be a $5,000 stimulus check. It's so easy. Next, what's going to go on with SSI and SSDI and Social Security and Railroad Benefits? It would not be in this. It would be a standalone bill, and it would be uh, following thereafter. $2,200 a month every month all the way up to December 31st of next year, upwards of $2,400 or $2,600 if you started today, but in some cases it could be upwards of $4,000. Then you would get it up to a 20% increase, a one-time lifetime increase that is non-COVID related just because, and then a new benchmark that would increase your benefits annually that is different than COLA. All really incredible great news. So the day also had some very shocking developments as Janet Yellen was appointed Treasury Secretary, but the Department of Labor said that the unemployment numbers we're seeing out every Thursday are wrong. Um, <laughs> oh boy, it said it was wrong in both directions, by the way. They said it was too high on one side and too low on the other side, so it basically canceled itself out. Um, but I have been reporting for weeks, and you have been even commenting as well, that you do not believe those Thursday numbers as well, because the people on... UI were going to PUA because UI had ran out. So it's just making the numbers complicated. But the new report says that all the numbers are just messed up anyway. So just, there you go. Uh, messed up day. Um, meantime, what's going on with those CARES Act 1 grants? Yes, really exciting news. And you need to join me right now. There's not one, not two, but three ways to get big money. And this is not money five weeks from now. This is money right now. Viewers get this money turned around for 24 hours. The first two are free money. Money, and then EIDL is a debt instrument. The first two are free money, stimulus, yours, given to the cities and states. It's your money. The first one is CARES Act 1 grants. Go to your city's website, go to your county's website, go to your state housing authority's website and look for COVID grants for rent, for utilities, for food, and for medicine. I just don't seem to have viewers asking me about food and and then on a rare occasion, I hear them, uh, well, I, I don't ever hear them talk about food, and I never hear them talk about medicine. Please look for them. Today, I had a viewer send me a very nice message that said, thank you. Because of you, I got a rent, I got a grant aid for tuition. So it shows you, you got to think out of the box. But the rent is the priority because it's big money. It's everywhere from one month to six months to 12 months. Then the next one is utilities. Everyone is, there's utility grants everywhere. It just, if you can't find um, rent in New York, you should be looking for utilities in New York. If you can't find rent in Dallas, you should be looking for utilities in Dallas. Needless to say, New York is going with a, live with a rent grant on December 1st, as some reports. Um, Dallas and Houston, all those cities, we have gotten grants for you in those cities and continue to do so. And then there's some cities that are going live and then cities that are going offline. So San Diego was one of the newer ones to start offering rent grants, but then Broward County in Florida is not, was offering them up to, is offering them up to tomorrow. And tomorrow's the closeout day, says one, one viewer in Purple Power, in, in one of the live chats. Next, Escalade Benefits, please get it. Please get it. I mean, I just, it's so easy. The, uh, the hardest thing about Escalade Benefits is just calling them up on the phone. After you do Escalade Benefits and you submit your, for, your, your 2019 tax return and uh, you write your cover letter, which I detail on, on check, which I'll drop in the links above, afternoon check, you need to call them. You need to be on the phone and say, hey, 
have you gotten my letter? Uh, hey, what's going on? Um, and you need to call them. Call them the day after, call them the day after that. And what's important to understand is the power of purple power is being, uh, is pushing, is pushing. It is not sitting back and saying nothing. Uh, every now and then I have someone that says, I submitted the form and I never heard back. Or um, I called, oh, <laughs> I had one person for EIDL two days ago say, I submitted for an EIDL in May and I called them up once on the phone and they hung up the phone on me. Okay, so you haven't done anything since May because one person hung up the phone on you? That's really wimpy. <laughs> I'm just sorry. This is like, uh, that's just not, obviously you really don't want it. I mean, if you really don't want it, then well, why even bother? I mean, it's just, you know. But if you call up the phone and one person hung up the phone on you accidentally or even intentionally, then really? I mean, you just give up because someone hung up the phone on you? What if they called you a bad name? Which they do. So there's always a, there's always a government person that just is rude on the phone. Are you just going to give up? No, of course not. So I need to say this because ultimately people don't see that inspiration or motivation until I say it to them sometimes. And so it's important to understand you need to call and call again and keep on calling and call several times per week, per day, until you get the money. And finally, there's some people that think, um, let me just post my contact information on Facebook and hope for someone to reach out to me. Uh, no, <laughs> there's no one just searching around on Facebook looking for people in need. There's, there's, Facebook is not a place where you just put a flag down on the, in the, on the, in the ground and say, hey, here I am, come and find me, I need help. No, I just I don't know what that is. Finally, um, if you're if if you're reaching out to the volunteers who are incredible, uh, treat them like family. Do not reach out to a volunteer and have them and, and instruct them, tell them to fill out forms for you. I, I just, oh, my goodness, uh, it's just ultimately uh, we are all family. You gotta treat one another family. Finally, EIDL. Uh, EIDL is very simple. And as I said on uh, one of the earlier videos today, get EIDL if you qualify, because that's gonna be gone. Certain things are gonna be gone. CARES Act one grant that $800 billion, that's gonna be gone. EIDL, that money, that EIDL, that's gonna be gone. Staying local, the five, the, the, the grant money that we're chasing for CARES Act one grants, that's gonna be gone. These things are not gonna be around much longer. And ultimately, I know this over so much that's gonna come around December 21st, it's gonna be like, can you help me find that? I'm like, no, it's gone. I told you to go get it. It's sort of like the Broward County of this video. I just told, I've been telling you about Broward County for over two weeks and now one viewer says it closes tomorrow. I tell you these things to go get them because I literally mean the next 24 minutes, go get it. I don't mean 24 days later, go get it. Um, if you have questions or comments in today's video, drop them in the comments below. I might feature them in tomorrow's recording. Coming up next, though, is Purple Power Live. Big developments across the board. Join me on that. And then join me tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. with Check Big Developments on Early Mornings LA. That's at 6 a.m. There's two shows. There's a 6 a.m. show, and then there's a 6.30 a.m. show, both east of Standard Time. I'll add that there that ultimately after the show airs, you can watch it taped because there have been some, I saw someone say, I missed the show, I gotta go back to bed. Well, when you wake up, the show will be there for you to watch. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay in my life for more.